and and that's a uh, that's big. So there's an advantage to being pushed off of your your color, I believe. Akiro rocking green hat. Normally he's red, so he must have lost that that rock paper scissors or whatever he did. And that was some good di. Uh, it was a kind of questionable recovery for a second on this. Oh no, K3 just missing that up B. Yeah, and that might be nerves a little bit uh, against Kiro. I'm not sure because it. He this is the really, rematch. Yeah, and he seemed really crispy with them earlier. Oh, and that's a good F tilt. He knows that Kiro is that low. Has to do that double. That up down, which on the left side, if, if you aren't aware, straight up and down will grab the ledge. Only on the left, though. Yeah, on the right side, you'll you'll miss it if you don't angle it slightly toward the left. That's the second time that Kiro was hanging on the ledge, and KD3 tried just jumping up with an aerial. Oh, I can't fix that. No. And um, Kiro just does get up attack. And you saw KD3 when he, he zip zapped to the top. Uh, he and Kiro both will do that. They, they know they're going to get that zip zap. So it's almost like a bait because they'll put out a, a quick flat drop down air right after that. I fell for that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, and they both rolled. The push off will work out for Kiro. Kiro. Uh, finally, uh, KD3 connects with that. No get up attack from Kiro. Yeah, KD3 had a great opportunity there with Kiro teching in place on the platform and he didn't up tilt to continue the combo. Yeah. Whoa, and that down air. Wow. So KD3 missing a couple of these. Kiro reading it with down air with forward smash. Now Kiro's off stage, zip zap all the way across. Edge guarding Pika is Pika. There's so much guessing. Yeah, it's like committing to maybe one option a lot of the time. and You can't chase them. Ooh, and he, almost another situation where... Oh, whoa, and he gets that tech on the top plat. Hero goes... All, oh, oh, he just he fakes him out. He... He uh, went to quick attack to the top plat, pulled back, and fell in between the platforms. KD3 yeah. completely whipped. That was really nice, because it's risky to do that. You're really vulnerable if, you know, not landing on the top platform a lot of the time. Yeah, you can't, it's not like a trick you can use a lot. Oh, and he tries that delay, but KD3 with a good, well-timed roll. Kira is just calling out KD3 with these F-smashes. Yeah. And KD3 didn't get any, you know, kind of great DI. He was trying to do a rising there, and Kira had pivoted back with that F-smash. Um, really nice. I think this matchup is, uh, it, you know, as if a lot of viewers don't like to see this Pika Ditto, but playing a Pika Ditto with someone, it's just like a really interesting... Uh, back and forth where you sort of adapt off each other and that can be said of any match, but um, I played one the other night I, <laughs> I played some Pika like the weekly. Did you enjoy it? Uh, I mean not really. No, I'm, I'm, not, I'm pretty bad at like up these and stuff Yeah, that that can be a huge. I mean that can be a difference maker right there, right? If the other Pika can recover Landing safely getting their uh, I also kept trying to up canceled. smash out of shield like I was Falcon <laughs> it, it can work. Oh good. All right, KD3 switch. Interesting. Okay. Up smash out of shield can work if they try to up air you from below. It's just so much slower than Falcons. Oh, yeah. And, like, that's what I'm used to. It's like when Mr. Sir went Falcon in the crew battle and kept trying to up B out of shield like he was Samus. And Kiro stayed green. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that's not going to connect. Nope. And KD3 wisely backs away. Oh, that, okay, that did work. I was a little bit nervous. After he got that down air, with B instead of just going for another down air. Man, I think I have nightmares in this matchup. And that's <laughs> a good job of... You having flashbacks right now? <laughs> yes. A good job of Kira to get pushed off and quickly F air. F air is one of those attacks that just was so old school for a while, but it's really so useful, um, even if your opponent can DI it. Wow, okay. I really thought Kira was going to get up attack there. It looked like KD3 was going to make it back on. It's like a couple pixels away. Great job to drop down before that rising up air and that up B will 
bring Kira all the way to the blast zone. Oh. So I love doing that, the the recovering down air like that. But Kira is at zero. It's not gonna kill. <laughs> no, yeah. Oh, and Kiro had the opportunity to move away from that. He just didn't react in time. He, yeah, he he just thought he was going to get pushed off with an attack, and then KD3 read that and didn't throw out, you know, a hitbox. Yeah. He threw out a, a grab box. I guess, yeah. <laughs> I, don't know. I was, like, struggling to find the word there. Yeah, I, that's why I, I, but I agree, because it's kind of a weird thing. We don't really have to talk about it much other than for Falcon. Wow. That's so nice. Here we go, last stock, KD3 with the Falcon. Yeah, and this looks a lot closer now. It's like, Kira doesn't look in, as in control. Oh no, he missed an up air! But he's okay Oh, he here. should have this. this. Yeah, this yeah, should be this it. Is game. So KD3 taking game two, Falcon. <laughs> so do you think we see a switch from Kira? Um, honestly, no. Kira used to be—he used to be really good at this matchup remember as Kirby. He, yeah, like I was gonna he say. Remember like when he went fa uh, when, we, when he would go Kirby? Yeah, he doesn't like playing Kirby anymore, and he said that he doesn't like doing it because he feels Kirby's a kind of reactionary character where you really can't control the flow and the pace of the match. You're—it's pretty tough. Yeah, I, and I—I I agree with that to some extent. Um, Kitty three. Kitty three doesn't want to do the Falcon Ditto. Scared so. of a counter pick. I think I Kira know, likes I, to see this, you know, and KD3, I think is... Yeah, Kira definitely wants to see this. He You can he, see him smiling. Yeah, he schooled him in the Pika Ditto. This is a... I don't know. If I were KD3, I would roll the dice and see what Kira does, if he, you know, if I stayed Falcon. I would, too. I think he, he doesn't want to see Kira's Kirby, but I don't think Kira's busting out the Kirby. I think it was going to be a Falcon Ditto. Kira's just going nuts back there. So Pika Ditto, round two. Kira's still green hat. And KD3 will opt for the re-grab. Up smash, Ooh. yeah. And that was that almost a textbook combo yeah. from Kiro. Maybe KD3 DI'd a little bit. Not enough people do that. DI'ing away from the Pikachu up air combos, it can get you out. Yeah, down and away is the... Uh I think the school would fought. It's a nice uh, upbeat. Let's get to that top flat. This game is all so tied up. KD3 throws out a thunder shock to bait Kiro to go high, but then he still missed him. It actually worked too. Like it forced Kiro to go high. He didn't want to get hit by it. Ooh, when Kira was running in for a grab. That was such a fast uh, nair from yeah. KD3. Kira tries to call the high recovery, tries to bait the low one, and, and KD3 sees it. Yeah, I love doing that as, uh, as DK. I'll sit by the ledge and just keep down tilting. I'm like, yeah, 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 go high, go high, and then I'll like jump up and punch. <laughs> Yeah, I think your brother does that a lot with the up tilts as well as Pika. Yeah. Kiro can't really get something going off those couple pokes on the top plat. KD3 will bring it to a stock tie here. And yeah, that's the a DI great DI, yeah. Ooh. Oh, the Derek. Mm, get that jab grab on shield. Oh, that's that nice recovery. Horizontal and then at the downward angle. Oh, Kiro with a dangerous recovery. Oh, KD3. Very nice straight to the ledge from the side plat. While in, while in some trouble, and it's upbees like that that can win important sets for you. So, still in this tied oh. stock, nicely timed down tilt there. And that's when down tilt really works when Pikachu is high up and trying to recover low. It, it 
just covers everything. And KD3 has done such a nice job of getting that, uh, you know, that cancel on the top plat. Yeah, all these, these Pikachus these days, they, they know their angles. Oh, that pivot, pivot up, up tilt. Pivot up tilt. <laughs> Oh, yep. That's going to up smash. So we're at like the exact same stock count and everything from the first Pika Ditto. Oh, that's so nice. He baits him into that. And look, he's already at 48%. Could have been worse. Oh, and Kira no. doesn't go for anything else, kind of realizing that KD3's DI's got him out of most situations. There's that Derek. Kira's so slick with pivot up tilts. Yes, he really is. And you don't see a lot of Pikas use them um, as well they're as he does. They're so good for continuing combos. Yeah. That'll do it. Falcon? So we're going into game four. Let's go, Falcon. So here's what you have to think of as Kiro, and this is probably what he's discussing with Warby. Does he want to play for Pika Falcon? Or does he want to play Falcon Pika? Because he can oh, switch to Falcon yeah, right could. now, and KD3 will probably stay Pika. So if he prefers that match, he might as well switch See, to Falcon. If I were KD3 and Kira switched to Falcon, I would go Falcon. Yeah, maybe he uh, will. Or, or like I don't know how you know good KD3 feels with like his puff or whatever his Kirby or whatever. But if Kira's gonna go Falcon, he's giving you that chance with a really volatile matchup. Like, you could take advantage of that and also go Falcon. Either right. way, though, if KD3 wins this, he does. He will have to pick his character first. Yeah. And he'll probably stay Falcon, but, but I mean, so I want to see it. Yeah, the thing is, if, he, if Kiro goes Falcon now and he does lose that, then KD3 is going to be more confident in his ability as a Falcon. Right, so like, like let's say Kiro goes Falcon. If KD3 goes Falcon and wins that, then Kiro's... Yeah, don't get me wrong. I think Kiro going Falcon puts him in a puts him in a worse spot. Yeah. Um, like this this game last time was pretty close. Kiro, you know, I, I know Kiro thinks he should win it. Yeah, and but Kiro can win this but whole not if he set. Does that. No, but Kiro can win this whole set if he just holds serve, right? So KD3 can take this game. Um, but then Kiro, KD3 may stick Falcon if he wins this game, in which case he, he should. should. Yeah, he, he should. really should. He should force Kiro to beat his Falcon with someone. No up B from Kiro. KD3 just misses some things. Yeah, yeah. I feel like the nerve's definitely getting there. That's not going to reach. No, just, just out of range. But Kiro, that was not really wise to try to fastball in with an attack. Oh, good pullback. Whoa. Oh, oh my God. When slow get up works, there's just something wrong. <laughs> wow, and somehow Kiro. It should be 4 is, to 2 right now. Yeah, easily. Um, Kiro's is, lost his edge and the ability to play this match, and he's lost his confidence in it as well. I would Falcon kick Kiro right now. In the, uh, <laughs> in the crew battle, Kiro just didn't want to face this matchup. I mean, he's looking good now after that, and I hope he gets his confidence in this matchup back a bit. It can be rough. You just have to be so careful as yeah. Pika. Oh, as both characters. Oh, that was a bad roll. Oh. And Forge Smash is a bad edge guard. Yep, and uh, <laughs> it always feels dumb when you miss those. Yeah. And yeah, yeah KD3 tries to bait him low so he can, like, jump up and attack him or something. But the thing is, it, Pika can just do what Kiro did and snap to the ledge. Yeah, oh, and the double pivot is really nice because he's able to do a forward throw that, in that direction. Yeah, that, was a, that was pretty smooth. I'm going to steal that one. Oh, and a great recovery from Kiro. KD3 had a real chance to take that stock, and, and now KD3 is on his uh, winner side stock, and that'll be it. Yeah, so KD3, he kept going for something that, that I like to do a lot where you bait the jump off from Pika or like a runoff Nair or something like that. Right. You go low and 